Here in Sugarland, Texas, the rain has been unrelenting, and with that downpour comes rising floodwaters, making it harder to rescue the still thousands of people trapped at home. We're trying to save people's lives. We're trying to make sure they have a place to live, safe water to drink, sewage, electricity, and the like. But this is going to be a long challenge. As the waters continue to rise, so does the death toll. Well over 20 inches of rain have fallen in Texas since Harvey made landfall late Friday, and there are no signs of it letting up anytime soon. Parts of the state could receive up to 50 inches of rain by midweek, and 18 counties have been declared federal disasters. Thousands have been driven from their homes, and many more are trapped waiting for help. What did you just go through back um, there? Hell. Governor Abbott has deployed every member of the Texas National Guard to help with search and rescues. We are still involved in the search and rescue process. Our number one goal is still protecting and preserving life and rescuing every person that we can find. President Donald Trump, who is set to tour some of the devastated areas Tuesday, praised Texans for their resilience during this, quote, historic storm. I think that you're going to see very rapid action from Congress, certainly from the president, and uh, you're going to get your funding. It's a terrible tragedy. And the residents of Texas certainly need that funding, and they need it quickly. They are saying by the end of Tropical Storm Harvey that roughly more than 30,000 people will have been displaced. Reporting from Sugarland, Texas, I'm Kristen Halls.